Hello friends, welcome back to Heartscapes, where we're learning the system of Reiki to be rooted, to be spacious, to be connected, to remember ourselves. My name is Michaela, I'm really glad to have you with me back here at the studio. And here in the Northern Hemisphere, we are settling into the deepest part of late fall. Here in Central California, we're finally starting to get cooler temperatures, the clouds are rolling in, we're getting some rain, the trees are becoming bare, and it's really becoming the time of year when the bones of things are revealed. And this is a time that can be full of paradox for people, it certainly is for me sometimes. There's the, the settled quality of leaving behind the busyness of summer, the comfort of pulling in the harvest and filling up our our resources and preparing to settle in for the restful season. On the other side of things, this can be a really challenging season for us, particularly those of us who are impacted by the darker times that are um, sensitive to the need for more light in our lives. And, um, you know, this can be a time when some of our interior spaces that we've been uh, perhaps ignoring or too busy to, to deal with or that are just ready to come forward as we go into a restful pose that they that they begin to reveal themselves and it can become a really challenging time for me that sometimes shows up as a deep depression that comes at winter time seasonal seasonal depression that comes through at this time and as i'm working with clients and working with people through the system of reiki and through the system of soul collage I'm starting to see this energy reflected in what people are bringing and what people are challenged by both the interior landscape that begins to feel a little more bereft sometimes during this time when losses and grief become a little bit more pronounced mirrored in that is things happening in the world on geopolitical stages places far from here where there's great suffering that is occurring right in this very moment. All of that can be incredibly overwhelming to our nervous system, to our hearts, to our minds that want to solve these problems and find solutions, but can't. It can be a lot. And I'm seeing that in myself to a certain degree. And I am seeing that in the people around me. I just was working with a client who's, you know, really, working with this um, with this energy and with the, the heaviness uh, that can come with this time. And in our session, there was a, a poem that came forward. Um, this happens for me often. Uh, I often work with poetry with um, the words of other people who have been through um, some version of the journey that I'm on. And this poem that uh, you know kind of volunteered to be shared into that session, uh, was just the right kind of medicine that we needed. And I wanted to share it with you because perhaps it's the kind of medicine that you need. Uh, sometimes on this channel, I offer what I call Reiki story time, sharing poems, essays, uh, excerpts from books, uh, things that um, have been helpful to me that reflect in some way uh, something important, something potent about my experiences with the system of Reiki and that I offer to you as, as medicine, as teaching, uh, as nourishment, um, because it was helpful to me. So uh, I want to do that today. I want to share this uh, poem I've shared from these books before. It's the series Prayers for Honoring by Pixie Lighthorse. This particular one is Prayers for Honoring Grief. It's one that I've been dipping into a lot lately. It's got a lot of medicine for us. And this particular one is Prayers for Honoring Coping. So I just invite you to settle in, perhaps grab a nice beverage, and just take in this prayer, this poem, and just see what lands for you, what piece of this is for you. Okay. Thank you for this day of remembering my tools. On days when I am forgetful and in pain, let me become still enough to summon them into my hands and my heart. Fortify my knowledge that amnesia and anesthesia do not allow me to stay in flow, that they are the great and silent burdens that clog and complicate my life. 
help me stage my own resilience, confront my obstacles, and compose the voices within me that build resilience. Thank you for every breath, every stretch, every moment of outreach and help. Thank you for spaciousness, patience, and all that I have gathered to manage my emotions. Thank you for the people who will listen while I am feeling around in the dark. Let me value the process of growing my resources for grappling with the challenges that life rolls towards me. Eliminate my thought that I can't handle one more thing. Remove my malignant, shame-filled thought patterns that find me stuck in loops, deeming my losses not worthy of my attention. When I am centering my whole focus on the sharp and unjust bite of injury, let me relentlessly revisualize the headquarters where signals and transmissions are taking place. Remind me that fear of pain leads to tension and tension leads to pain. Remind me that fear of pain leads to tension and tension leads to pain. Help me become graceful about respecting my states of being. Help me to notice when it is time to tend and cleanse and create space for myself. Help me to under-commit and under-schedule myself while developing new strategies for survival. Show me how to take intensive care of myself rather than exhausting my energy in an attempt to meet trivial demands. When I think that I am at the end of my rope, remind me that I am the rope. And what frays me is overvaluing superficial, convenient responses to my deep interior experiences. Friends, I invite you to just breathe in whatever piece of that was for you today. Whatever part spoke to you, whatever part whispered. I will put a link to um, where you can acquire this book if you'd like to dig into all the prayers of offerings that Pixie Light Horse offers in this book. It is a good one. And as you move into your day, into the remainder of this season of fall and into winter, may you be deeply provisioned for whatever this season brings to you. Thank you so much for being with me. It always gladdens my heart to come to you, to be with you in the comments section, to be with you in the energetic space of this YouTube channel. Technology can be a space for great connection. So thanks for being with me. Until next time, I love you. Goodbye.